What is going on you guys? Lou back at it again with another video. Now, today's video we're going to strictly talk about Damian Lillard, all right? I was going to talk about all these players that are signing with these teams, all these free agents who's left, but I think I'm going to just save that for tomorrow. I'm off for 2 days now, all right? So after today, I'm off for 2 days. I will definitely get y'all videos and we're going to just set up a lot of stuff, all right? And basically make our theories of what these teams are looking like with these free agents. We're going to get in depth, all right? But first, I want to talk about Damian Lillard. Now, a lot of news has been coming out because of First Take and just a lot of other sources that supposedly that Damian Lillard wants to get traded or is open to it. The fact that Portland cannot seem to snag any big free agents. And even in this free agency, so far, they've only landed Seth Curry, Nick Stauskas, and then that's about it for the most part, right? Yeah. So that's a real issue with Portland. No one wants to go over there and play. So it makes it where Damian Lillard, who is such a high class guard in this league, that he's not getting any talent, that he can't do anything with the talent that he has. He can only take him so far. And um, I think the problem is they need more guys. So what First Take was trying to say is, or at least Stephen A was trying to say is, that because he cannot bring anybody to him, he wants to go to someone else and be able to win that way. Now, when I heard that, I was like, ah, I don't know, man. It's just there's no way that Portland will want to trade that contract. That contract, he signed for another three years. Granted, he's getting a lot of money going on right now because of his shoe deals and the fact that he got paid big dollars over there in Portland. But if you're Portland, why would you trade somebody of his caliber off your team when you have them, all right? A good team always starts with stars. So if you got one, it's a very rare thing to have. So you keep it as long as you can. That's really how you do it. Um, sometimes things like the Kevin Durant situation happens where they leave your team, but you got to take that chance when you have a star and Portland has two of them. They got CJ McCollum and they got Damian Lillard. So with that being said, these guys are signed for money. You got to keep these guys and build around them. Now, because of all these rumors that were coming out and this and that, basically Damian Lillard had no choice but to kind of respond. But the problem is he's not going to respond by saying, yeah, I'm not happy here. I want to get traded. Of course, he's not going to do that. Whether that is his true intent or not, who knows? No one really truly knows. Maybe people that he knows. That's about it. But this is what he had to say. I am not unhappy. I love where I live. I love the organization. I love our coaching staff. I love where I am. Now, the one thing that I didn't really hear too much about, though, in his one statement there, he clarified that he loves the organization. He loves where he lives. He loves where he is at. He loves the coaching staff. He's not unhappy. But he didn't clarify to say that he is happy, all right? He says, I love where I am, but he never said nothing about his team, all right? He never said, hey, I love my team. I love where we're at with this team. I just need to see. So what that tells me about Damian Lillard is that, yes, he wants to do something for the Trailblazers. He wants to make something happen there. But he needs a better team. And he knows that and he's realizing that as well. Now, what do you do with that? You got to get some trades going on, all right? And I don't know if that's trading a CJ McCollum or any of your other guys. I don't know what you could Because quite frankly, the Trailblazers don't have that much talent. They don't have a lot of tradable pieces. So it's very hard to make a move where you can get a big free agent on your way. So at that point, it's going to be on Damian Lillard and CJ McCollum to be able to make that call on saying, hey, we need to get us this guy. Let's start talking to these guys and let's start seeing if we can persuade them to come our way because obviously no one's coming to the Trailblazers. No one wants to go over there. And I don't know why, man. They got some clean uniforms. They got a nice little fan base going on out there. Is it the cold weather? I don't, I don't know. But honestly, that's what the problem is with the Trailblazers, all right? Damian Lillard and CJ McCollum have proven now time and time again that they're good players, they're a good team, all right? They're an all right team, but it's starting to get to that point now where the West is growing with so much talent over there. These teams are getting so better now that, yeah, they finished third this season, but is that really gonna happen again? I mean, they're gonna fall this season, all right? How many games did they win this season? They won 49 games this season. I don't see that happening again. I don't see them winning another 49. With the team that they have, I'm gonna guess close to that though but who knows and that's the problem right now because if they're not getting progressively better just like everybody else is 
then they're gonna decline. And as they decline, unhappiness starts to start. And then you just have a very big situation. Damian Lillard and CJ McCollum are one of the best backcourts in this league. So they should be able to make something happen. But the problem is also they don't have a big man. They don't have a guy that is a huge threat. They don't have these things that a team needs. And there's a lot of different pieces that they need. So um, we'll see what happens. But tell me what you guys think down below in the comments. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more. I'm out.